Here we go. We have heard the horror stories, but tonight the Fox 5 investigative team catches the city red-handed writing parking tickets before they're supposed to. There seems to be a snafu in the system that could be responsible for tons of improper tickets being issued, and literally, it had one neighborhood running in fear. Here's Fox 5's John Dutzman with that. Like frightened animals, people scurry along Riverside Drive. The hunters have arrived, city traffic agents. But when we what showed up, what do you get the? Ten. What do you base your clock on, sir? What about you? What about you, buddy? You cheaters! The ticket writers became the frightened ones. It all starts with this guy, Kevin Horn. And when I got here, I was shocked to find that there was a ticket already on the windshield. Kevin is trained like anyone else who lives here that the city plays hardball with alternate side of the street parking tickets. And on this section of Riverside Drive, if your car isn't moved for the street sweeper by exactly 9.30, you'll be whacked with a $45 ticket. In fact, Kevin's ticket was for 9.30 on the dot. I grab the ticket, I look at it, it says exactly 9.30. As I said, I checked my watch, it was 9.28 and a half. I keep this watch set within five seconds of the right time so I can make the train on time. This just didn't make sense to me. So I knew I was right. We've heard arguments like Kevin's before, but they seem a little far-fetched. I mean, we know the city plays hardball when it comes to tickets, but writing tickets earlier than they're supposed to? Nah. When I looked up, I tried to find the agent who wrote the ticket. He was a block ahead of me. I sprinted up to him and I checked the time on his device. It was three minutes faster than what I had on my watch. So we decided to keep an eye on this stretch of Riverside Drive from 104th Street to 111th, where Kevin says he got gypped. I want to show you what we did to make sure we had dead-on accurate time. We had three cell phones with us, all with accurate time. This is my cell phone. It says that it's 1017. We made sure that my cell phone was synced up to the dashboard clock. That says 1017. And we made sure that my cell phone matched the atomic clock, considered the true accurate measure of time. From here on in, the digital readout at the bottom of your screen will be the real time of day. 924, it's 924. At 924, traffic agents are poised and ready to pounce. At 9.26, four minutes before ticket time, the panic begins. People start rushing to their cars. Three minutes to go. Look at this guy trying to play beat the clock. 9.28, the agent is out of his car, ready to write his first ticket. Then here, just before 9.29, the agent will make his move. He takes out his scanner, the device they use to issue the ticket. It's not 9.30 yet, but the ticket is already official. Here, the agent fills out information on his machine. How are you guys doing? What's going on, boss? You're writing tickets a little early, aren't you? Am I? Yep. Okay. You guys just can't give anybody a break, right? Hold on, hold on. He shows me a ticket that says 9.32, more than two minutes later than the time we had. So that, that's, that's your clock. I've got three satellite clocks in the car, and you write, wrote that ticket. Where do, the, where do you get the? Where do you get the? What do you base your clock on, sir? What about you? What about you, buddy? You cheaters! They took off, but we found them again a few blocks away. Sir, why do you guys play such hardball here? You're writing tickets in advance, sir. You're writing tickets in advance of the time. Who you, says that? Who says that? I said that. I had three satellite clocks in my car. We got complaints that you guys are writing tickets early. 928. Let's go for this time. So, so you're saying excuse the city me. clocks are set er, uh, excuse, early? Excuse me, sir, please. It's convenient that the excuse city me, clocks are excuse set early. Excuse me, sir, please. Right. It's kind of convenient that the city clocks are set earlier than the real yeah. time. So could it be that those scanners, the machines that the agents use to supposedly write accurate tickets, are not accurate when it comes to time? It looks like they might be about two minutes ahead of the real time of day. So we checked with a bunch of other agents elsewhere. We use my cell phone, which remember is synced up to the atomic clock. Officer, how you doing? My friend's telling me my time's incorrect. Could you let me know if this is the right time? I've got uh, 217, because your, your scanners are pretty, what about your... 217, Yeah, your scanners are pretty accurate, right? Yes, yeah. 219. 219? Two minutes off. It's 225. 225? 225, you got 223. 220, 223. Yeah, two minutes off, I mean. Oh, all right. You like I... it like that. 
whatever you have that's really accurate. 243. 243? So I got 240, so I'm a minute slow. 242? Oh, okay. This is my satellite. Okay, is that, is that accurate? Yeah, this one is accurate. Okay, thanks a lot. Our time, the public's time, is not the city's time. Their time conveniently is set ahead. Bloomberg time, I guess you'd call it. You can call it Bloomberg time, you can call it traffic agent time, whatever you call it, it's not the real time of day, and you gotta wonder, out of the millions of tickets that are written, how many New Yorkers got stuck with inaccurate tickets because of this snafu, or whatever you wanna call it. I'm John Dutzman, Fox 5 News. Well, officially, the NYPD has no comment about what we discovered, but sources tell Fox 5 that as a result of our investigation, the agent's clocks have been readjusted. The blame is being placed on a company that programs and maintains the agent's ticket scanners for the police department. Now, despite what one agent said in our story, the scanner's clocks are not automatically tied to satellite time, but are set in the shop.